Hello, everyone. We are back again. And it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a minute. Like a while. And actually, it's funny because I think this is exactly what we say every time we come on. It's like, hey, it's been a while. <laughs> Welcome to our lives. I know. Well, the funny thing about this today is we're sort of in the middle of rebranding the podcast, making some like major changes, which we're going to talk about. But we were in the car. We were driving. And... You were Late, in your head. Lately, no, it's not so much that. It's just lately the the big theme that we've adopted, which is kind of what I wanted to talk about, was just taking action. And, I mean, gosh, for, for how long we typically talk about something before we actually do it, and that's both of us. I mean, it's mm-hmm. usually, I mean, I, I, I overthink, but the amount of times that we do that and the, the length of time... You know, I mean, it's ridiculous. Just started at the beginning and then would have already been halfway there. Well, we were talking about the podcast today because we've kind of moved some things around the studio and we've been talking about changing the back section of the studio up. And I love the look back there, but shooting, you know, being a natural light photographer, it's a little bit difficult in that one spot, particularly because it changes so much. And, you know, it sometimes it's great and sometimes it is just, it's, it's awful. hard. It's, it's awful. Hard. It's very blue. And then, I it just, I'm not a big fan, but I love the look of it. So we were talking about the podcast, getting moved over there, making that an area for that, taking it away as a shooting space, which honestly would be fantastic because then we can just focus everything on the one side. Mm-hmm. But uh, we were back and forth about this, and it was kind of one of those moments we've had a lot of lately where it turned into just, okay. Just do it. Just go do something. Mm-hmm. Just, just get back in and just start recording because I've been overthinking the process of doing this. I, it's like, well, what is this for? What, who, who am I talking to? What, what am I trying to say? What is the point? Is anybody going to listen? And I heard something the other day that was fantastic, and I remember telling you as soon as you got home, but I was listening to, I think it was Sean Puri or Sean Park. I can't remember his name. But uh, podcaster now sold multiple companies, and – he was talking about this and said that, you know, in the beginning you're doing this work, YouTube videos, podcasts, whatever it is, and nobody's going to see it. And, and even us where we have a following for our boudoir business, Mm -hmm. you know, we don't have the following for the podcast. We, you know, we, thankfully we have people that we can know about it, but yeah, we've, we've got people we can reach, you know, and, and, and to advertise and to put it out there. But, you know, views are low on everything that you do that's not boudoir related because it's not what we do. And you get in your head about that, no matter how much you say that you're not, you get in your head and it's like, well, this took me, you know, I had to plan to come here. I had to plan what to say. I, I, I'm talking to a person and now this is this long and I have to edit this. And then we got to do, yep. you know, there's a lot of little steps and then you do it. And only a few people see it, so then you start to feel like, well, was it worth the time? You know, I missed out on time with the kids, the family, whatever. But his advice was freaking fantastic because he said, you're making your binge bank. Because eventually, people are going to find you if you show up and you do what you're supposed to do. And when they do, they're going to have all of this content now that they can just binge. Mm -hmm. Like, nobody may watch this right now in August, right? Come April. But exactly, and then somebody's going to see that, and then they just dig through everything. And how, how many times a week, which is so funny, that he, because it's, it's just an obvious thing, mm-hmm. that it's almost so obvious that you're not thinking, you just overlook it, but how many days a week we're sitting here in the middle of a session, our phone just starts blowing up because somebody found our page, mm-hmm. and they just start going and through it. And they liked everything. Right. Notification after notification. Yep. And... It's, it really, it's been a crazy, I would say probably last seven days or so for us because we finally just decided to, you know, put everything that we've talked about into action. Mm-hmm. And, you know, when it came to Elevation starting out in the very beginning, you know, we started this business getting close to six years, I think five and a half years. I, I get lost on. I on mean, there's like the whole semantics of it all. You know, we started 
the Facebook group, like, I think that October, but we were still, like, Highway 43 photography, so it wasn't fully boudoir. It, it was, you know, I don't, I don't know if there's actually one particular starting point date, but yeah. Well, I mean, there was. I mean, it was the first session date, which was in, like, April. Right. But, but the point was, we talked about this for eight months. Oh, yeah. Before we actually did it, and there was a whole lot of... You know, what if, how are people going to respond to this? And it always ended with me basically saying, I don't really give a shit how people respond. I don't care if people don't like it. Or, you know, back then, this was early 2019. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it was early 20, not mid-2019, I think, by the time it actually started going. But photographers did in, around here did not talk about this. No, it's very and taboo. If somebody offered it, it was Valentine's. It was just some awful pearl roses, all the things. And it was a, usually one post, and that was it. Mm -hmm. And so for us, there was a back and forth. And it was like, well, how are we ever going to get this going? No one's going to really support this. People don't do this. That's, I mean, I fully thought I was going to lose all my friends. So, um, But we talked and talked and talked, and then eventually we knew this is what we were going to do. We, did, we just didn't care, and we took action. And had we not taken that action... Obviously, we wouldn't be sitting here in our studio in downtown Tuscaloosa. Right. You know, this was a goal that we had from day one, and which takes me to another really good quote that I've heard lately, and it's, the place that you are now is the place that you said you wanted to be two, three years ago. So many times, we set something and we're like, hey, look, if I can just get to this, I'm going to be happy, right? Mm -hmm. For us, that was... That was it. And it was like, well, if we just get to this point, well, we got to that point really fast yeah, and didn't even realize it, but just kept setting our sights farther and farther and farther. I mean, farther. you got to keep pushing that goal. You can't, like, once you reach it, you don't stop. You, you keep going. But a lot of times I think that we forget to stop and just say, okay, this is what I said I wanted. I, I, I did get to this. I have achieved that. Mm. Take something, you know, from that. And then just keep moving forward. I mean, obviously, I think the goal is always be better, self-improvement, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, but when it came to this, to this podcast, you know, we, it, it's, I don't want to call it a labor of love because there's been a lot of hate, <laughs> a lot of hate. Uh, I've screwed this up so many times uh, and I'm going to continue to, but what always happens is scheduling for people. This is, for us, we're working. The only time that we're able to shoot episodes, especially if I'm going to interview someone, is going to be in the evening. Mm -hmm. But then that turns into just, it's like the home life. We still have to focus on elevation. We still have other things going on. Kids, it's family. It's a hard balance. But there is no balance. And that's the thing that, that's interesting and this is kind of where I was, I've realized is that balance, I think, is just a myth. I, I, I don't think you can have proper balance. You, you just can't. You can't be the most successful, the best, and be super balanced in every direction. Something's going to lose out. Mm -hmm. Other, you know. Well, there's no 50-50 balance. There's some days are 80-20, 90-10, depending on what the topic or you know thing is. But where we are now... It's about just doing the thing, we'll figure it out, because if it matters, you're going to make time to do it. Mm -hmm. And this does matter. As many times as I skip months and months and then come back to it, I realize every time I sit down, I'm like, oh, this is so exciting. I love this. I like to talk. It, and I know that y'all are listening going, yeah, no, no shit. But I, I don't like the sound of my voice, but I like to talk. So it's kind of the double-edged sword there. It does kind of... That is the problem. But just the amount of times that I've done this, made mistakes, lost footage, camera stops recording, this happens, that happens, and then it just goes, well, nobody's listening right now, which is normal. That's, you know, out of all of the millions of podcasts, basically there's 20 that get all the listeners of, of yeah. everything. And, you know, the goal of this wasn't ever to build this up to be you know, the number one podcast in the world, but it's just to be able to do something that we like to do. You know, I don't want it to feel like 
work where I just dread coming in and doing it. You know, not having a producer and just having to do all this on our own. And when I say our own, I, I mean gonna mine. I was going to say, it's all you. You're the one who obviously sets everything up. You're the one who edits afterwards and gets it all posted and cut together. Cutting clips. Mm-hmm. You know, when you see someone that's, you know, like Alex Ramosi. I was listening to him talk about the amount of content he puts out. Whew. But he's also paying like thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars a month for his people to do all of this content, right? Mm-hmm. And so he's able just to to do this and they repurpose all the you know different things I and mean, there's a lot of different levels to it. But obviously we're not that's not how this is. We're so, not that level yet. Yeah. So right now it's just me doing the work, which, and I say that I don't complain because I actually enjoy doing it. There's something ridiculously fulfilling to me to record this, sit back, see the finished product, knowing that like, hey, I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. There's still things I want to tweak. Obviously the setup's going to change. I've got a major improvement of audio that I would like to do. The big problem with audio right now is just this massive room that we're in. Uh, with just we don't have enough stuff to be able to dampen the sound, the echo, the reverb, it's all a problem. But, you know, once you sit down and you look at that and you start creating the clips and you're putting the music to it, now it feels real. And that's awesome. I love that. But it's the anxiety of sitting here through this going, all right, is that camera recording? Is that one? Did the audio go is out? Is it my audio or is it your audio? Which right. wires are linked where? Yeah. Right. So that has been an adventure, um, but, you know, we're getting back to it. The goal right now is to really do this as much as possible. And I may not always have a point. It may just be coming on and just talking, and sometimes it's just updating. But I really want to interview people. I want to bring in business owners, people that are successful, people who've struggled, talk about that. I know that's kind of what everybody does, but I want to do it our way. So, and, and, and more episodes with us, you know. I don't really know if they need more episodes of we do, us. We I, don't, I mean. Yeah, it's not like we talk enough as it is, so. <laughs> but I know you don't want to do it, but that's okay. I love you. I know. <laughs> I love you as well. Uh, it is good, though, right now just to sit down in here and do this. I mean, this really, this wasn't planned. We had other stuff going on today. A crazy busy weekend. It's Friday. It's the last Friday of the month. It's the last day of the month. Last, it's the end of the month. Things things are happening. It's busy. Home game weekend here It is a Tuscaloosa. home game weekend. It's, it's Labor Day weekend. I don't know when you're actually listening or watching this, but it is. Yeah, right now. August so, going into September. So for those that don't know, our studio is in downtown Tuscaloosa. And we are right in the middle of everything. Every single thing that happens in Tuscaloosa happens within 100 yards of where we're sitting, pretty much. Yeah, yep. All the hotels, everything. And so everyone's coming in town. We've got... Traffic is awful today. And we'll be horrible tomorrow. And we've been on all sides of town multiple times already today. We had gotten home, and <laughs> then we were on our way back, because we once we made the decision to come do this... It was going, okay, let's get back. Let's get the things we need. Head to the studio. We'll have to set up. Got part of the way to the studio, then realized we had something delivered. And what I was expecting is something that can't just sit outside. And so I had to head back and go get this. Turns out it's actually not for me. It was for me. So it wasn't what I needed. I ordered. Sorry. That was great. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, the stuff will be there today or tomorrow. But... Then we had to come all the way back, sit in more traffic, get downtown. Um, we've already been across town heading to Shelton, so. So you can't, I mean, yeah, but I mean, it's just overall, it's a nightmare. Yeah. Traffic sucks today. But I just wanted to sit down and do this because it was about taking action. And, you know, on that, one of the things I wanted to talk about is another action that we've taken recently. Now, I'm not at a point yet to say what it is because I'm still waiting on some things we're we have gotten really in the process and, and, and nailed some things down, but we've had this idea for several months. I mean, and honestly, it may be something that I've talked about 
on and off for maybe a year now, but we decided to start another business. Yay. And it's, this one's going to be very different from what we're doing. And it is a product based business. So it's, it's very, I, I, I am very excited. It's tangible, not experience. Right. I'm very excited. I am so far out of my element and comfort zone here that I pretty much about every 30 minutes I go, mm, are you sure you want to do this? And yes, yes, you do. It was funny because we did, we talked about this and this week we, it just, it happened again. It was taking action, which I, I think is the most important thing. If there's something that you're wanting to do, you just have to go out and damn do it. Mm-hmm. If, if it's a business, if it's an idea, if it's a trip, if it's a, an experience that you want in your life, you just have to do it because you're always going to find reasons not to. And I promise you, I have found a lot of reasons why what I'm about to get into is a bad idea. I have talked myself out of this till I just couldn't anymore. And we, it was early in the week and we just made the decision. We were out and it was like, no, we're just going to do it. So we went home, started Started the process, got a name, worked got out website, some... Got the website, got the emails, got the socials. Yeah, I mean, and did all of this just within a day or two. We were able to nail down most of what we need and now started the process. I'm going to rebrand the podcast to go with that. I just haven't figured out that what that's going to be yet. I don't want to keep changing the name. I don't want to keep rebranding things. I really want that to go along with that business. Um, the, the big thing, you know, that I want to emphasize here is you're never finished. You just have to, you just have to push yourself. And it's not that you have to take massive leaps every day, but you at least have to, to take steps toward whatever goal it is. You know, again, can't stress enough how many days, months, years we have wasted just talking, going, hey, I wish we could do this. Well, guess what? You fucking can't. You absolutely can't. The only thing that stops you from hitting your goal of whatever it is, is you. And that has been me. I've been in my own way for years. I'm in my own way about the things I want to do, even with elevation. You know, I say, hey, we're going to do this. I love this idea. And and then I go, well, eh, it's probably stupid anyways. And you start talking yourself out of it. You start questioning and you, you sit alone with it for too long. And then, you know, once you start to talk about something, and this is, this is actually scientifically based here, but the more you talk about it, the more you get that dopamine release from it. And you almost convince yourself that you've already accomplished something just because you've talked about it. Just because you said, Hey, I want to do that. I want to do this. That's me. Got to follow through. So right now, we are following through, following through in a big way. You know, what does that mean for Elevation Boudoir? Nothing. Nothing changes. No, we're I still, mean, we're still full force ahead. I mean, still booked out, still everything with that. I'm, the summer was weird for us because originally the idea was we were going to take off and just enjoy the summer. We were going to be shooting some sessions over at Nocturnal Tavern, and we had those booked up. We had one week in June, one week in July. Well, we ended up running an ad on Facebook, which we haven't ever done before like this. And we, when I say we again, I mean this time, Rachel. (laughs) Rachel spent all of June dealing with people and and bookings. And, I mean, our sessions. Phone calls. Yeah, our sessions are completely booked. I mean, completely booked right now into Mm mid-January, which is really insane. Uh, we shoot pretty high volume for our industry. I mean, I mean, when you think about it, it's just us. We don't have associate photographers. We don't have, you know, retouchers or editors. I'm the hair and makeup person. It's literally, it's just us. It's the two of us doing everything. Which is, again, crazy. And when you really say it out loud, you're like, what the hell am I? Why, why the hell am I doing this to myself? Why do I do not need but, somebody else helping me? Because I do, but... And here we are starting another business. It's okay. It's just us. We'll get through it. Learn how to manage. It'll be good. This one is scalable. Um, 
And so it's going to be something that I will eventually add people. Like this one really can have other people. Right. Uh, for Elevation, we really want to keep things just Rachel and I. Mm-hmm. And it's one of the most unique businesses in our industry, the way that we run, mm-hmm. operate, shoot. Uh, a lot of people don't do it the way we do it. And so. and even just down to the to the general messaging. Um, and and so I love that our business, you know, has that, that elevation has been a very much one of one, you know, type business. Um, but this new this new venture is going to be awesome. I'm very excited about the things that are coming with that. It is going to be a lot. The goal is for it to not affect what we're doing. We're going to go from being more volume to we are going to be you know, a little bit less volume so that we can give everything the proper amount of focus that it deserves. Um, right now, Rachel's been taking over a lot more of elevation. She's kind of been more of the forefront there of, of people seeing when she sees content, post. Um, but I'm going to step back into that. We'll do more content together. And then we're going to kind of mix the two a little bit. But I'm excited. I'm very it's excited. It's fun. You know, right now, uh, our clients, I mean, everybody still has 100% of our focus. As, oh, completely, as, yeah. As always. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to say that it's like a well-oiled machine. I, I hate cliches. No, I mean, but I still stress and things break down. And like I said, today's Friday, so it's fine. It's more like... <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. It's, it's more of like a rusted machine. Like, it's still yeah. getting the job done, but it's, it's a little It's like little that, that 1900s old tractor just give it a good kick and yeah it still works <laughs> um but we're still staying on top of all of that and i'm going to be coming out and talking more about this business soon once we've got all of our stuff taken care of i've actually got my i'm trying to figure out how to say that without giving it away but basically once my product is back to me yes the way that i'm wanting and all of that with all the packaging yeah. and everything. Once that's squared away, I will make an official announcement, I believe. After we talk to the CPA and we talk to the lawyers and get oh that stuff squared away. Oh, uh, don't get me started. So that's okay. been a thing, too. And, uh, you know, when you run a business, that is something, like, you can't do everything on your own. you well, got to have you know, somebody. They don't even so. tell you when you start a business, hey, you need this and this and this and this and this and business insurance and all the licensings. Like, you know, you, you think you know boy you don't know how much it takes to really run a business oh man and then once you get into that process and then somebody starts sending you stuff like hey you can't do this hey can't have that nobody told me i had no idea but you know the whole like nobody told me that that's not a real answer in their eyes so Mm -hmm. they just expect you to know yeah uh, maybe that's what we should do we should do another business just online courses on starting a business Mm -hmm. this is how you do it there's all the processes yeah I don't know. Um, I mean, I, I'm sure there's a billion of those out there now, but we never... It would have been great to have. Yeah. Even though I went to school for it, I still didn't know what I should have known. They don't teach you that no, yet. No, they don't. Um, but, you know, the thing, like I said, this is about taking action in your life. And, mm-hmm. and that's just really where I want to leave this because I wanted to keep this one short and simple. Today was about taking action. What? You're looking at me weird. No, um, you said short and simple. Mm-hmm. And I had the urge to look at my watch to see how long you've been speaking for. You wouldn't know. You and you're don't. right, because I don't know when you started. I'm sorry. I, I didn't continue. I didn't yeah, cool. Thank you. you. Yeah. This is why you're never short and simple. I am short. I am not simple. Uh, you, but uh, <laughs> it's okay. Uh, I, can't, I can't be mean to you. Darrell told me that I have to be nice to my wife, and I always have to. Always happy have life. To. Happy life. <laughs> We have such a weird relation, weird relationship because we just talk shit to each other all day long. It's more fun that way. But uh, it is, it is something. Like I said, it's about taking action in your life, no matter what the thing is. If it's weight loss, if it's I just want to be healthier, if it's you know, I, drinking I can, more water. I can talk about that one all day long. That's been a massive change for you know for you. I mean, really oh, yeah. for both of us, and. We'll do another episode on it, so I don't want to get off on that right now. But there's so many things that you say that you want. There's things that you want to do. There's goals. There's trips. There's infinite amounts. But we tend to, hey, you know, one day 
I wish, I hope, you know, but none of that's going to get you to that point. And if you don't start right now by taking action, just put one foot in front of the other, just take one step. I promise you, once you get into it, you're going to, I, it'll, that goal will be there and it'll be there quicker than you realize. Yep. Uh, there was another quote that was talking about, you know, people tend to try to get themselves in the right frame of mind to work Mm -hmm. and you do all of these things and you got to get like, like, and I'm talking to myself, my my candle, I need my, my thunderstorm, white noise, whatever in my ear. So the kids can't annoy me. You do the, the YouTube jazz 4K I screensavers. Do. I love those screensavers. Some of those are okay. Some of those are well, just... Well, you got to get a good one. You can't get the one that's like been too AI'd. Yeah, and then it's there's like the one that sounds like 70s porn music. And <laughs> so... No, you, I, can't, I can't do the bossa nova. But... Sorry. Uh, <laughs> you... What happens that you... Uh, and, and again, I'm talking to myself... Can't stress that enough. I don't ever sound preachy because I'm afraid that it's going to come off like, oh, I know everything. You don't know. I'm just telling you where I fuck up daily. And it's going, oh, I just don't want to do that right now. Here, let me go do this. And even when I get back and I'm going, okay, all right, now it's time. I'm here. I'm at my desk. Oh, shit, my desk is a mess. It's dusty. There's stuff. I need to, let me clean this room. And I'm just trying to get all of the, the things in line. But what you're doing is, A, you're just avoiding the work. And you're not going to get there any quicker. When you clean everything, yeah, it might feel good, but now you're not motivated because now you're putting forth that energy into the other thing instead of the Too original tired. thing. The best way to get work done is just start working and you'll get into it. And that was that was the thing with this. It's been the thing with this new business. It's the thing with everything that we're doing. You start to avoid it because whether it's burnout, whether it's just you're just not feeling it today. Like, we all have those days. I oh, have yeah. those days yeah. six days a week. Mm-hmm. So it just put yourself there. Start doing it. Start taking steps. If there's something you want, start taking those steps. Today, start making it happen. 1% better each day. It'll eventually add up. And now you're looking at your goal. You know, Rachel and I talked about this business, like I said, maybe a, a, almost a full year of back and forth. And it wasn't all day every day. No, but, but it was enough of, I mean, it was a weekly conversation. Yeah. At the minimum. So here we are. We eventually decided to start. And when Mm -hmm. we started, it took off. We just started. Everything sort of happened within a few weeks. It wasn't easy. I mean, we had our setbacks. We had so many issues in the beginning. I mean, but I'm proud to know that where we started literally in our children's playroom. And I mean, just last night. I hadn't told you this, but uh, one of the girls that came to the girls' night last night, she was just, like, in complete, utter amazement. She's like, I cannot believe y'all own this. I was like, well, we don't own it. We lease it, you know. (laughs) But (laughs) I wish. I wish, too. But she's like, I mean, how did y'all even get this? And it it really is just a crap ton of hard work, a lot of determination. I mean, the motivation, it's not there every day, but the consistency, pushing forward, never stopping. I don't want to keep dropping too many quotes, but Sorry. it is. No, 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 no. It's oh. me. No, no, no. I was, I was just interrupting you to say, yeah, I mean, it's consistency over motivation. Yeah. And that was what uh, I told our kids when they got their black belts recently in Taekwondo. And that was one of the things that I talked to them about was in their thing. It was like, listen, it's just consistency over motivation. You just have to keep showing up. Mm-hmm. And most people lack motivation. All things are fun in the beginning. If you, if you like it, it's going to be fun mm-hmm. because it's new. It's exciting. And you're doing it. You're going, oh, this is great. But then, just like with a podcast, everybody gets to episode seven and they're like, I got to keep doing this. I got to do this. I got to do all that. And so you just have to be consistent over time to eventually get there. It doesn't have to be, you know, occasionally great. You need to just be consistently good. You just need to show Show up up. and do the thing. Show up. Just day after day. And, you know, I think a lot of it, uh, even with Elevation, it's like, I have to show up not just for myself, but I have to show up for other people. I have those people who count on me and depend on me and expect me to to be the person I am. I can't let them down. So, Well, I'm excited to be back on some new and awesome things. This will be good. I know you probably won't do this with me much. I'll just come and sit and talk. That's what I'll do. 
I mean, I look cute sitting here. Mm -hmm. Your post-gym look. It's so funny. I love it. it. It's it's hilarious that you just roll up in. You're just like most people would go, oh, you know, you're over here fixing my hair and doing all this bullshit. Whereas I just took mine down out of the ponytail and here we are. <laughs> yeah. uh, but anyways, look, I appreciate it. Anybody who's hung in there, any of y'all that listen, I appreciate you. Like I said, we got some awesome things that are happening. And this business is, it is 100% happening right now. I just want to say I'm proud of you. Well, I appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you. So I still have to have her do all my my work. Still have to have her cr help create things. I'm still an idiot when it comes to most most things how technologically. How do I create a new Instagram? How do I create an email? No, it wasn't how do I create a new Instagram. I know how to do that. But it was just the email, doing all the stuff. I was like, here, just knock it out. It'll take you just a few minutes. So no big deal, okay? It got done. So, sure. but... Like I said, I appreciate you all. Be on the lookout. We are going to rebrand the podcast to go along with the new business. And as soon as that happens, we'll start really getting after it. I have some amazing guests that I've talked to. And I'm hoping that we can be make, make this happen within the next few weeks. So That'll be great. Thank you all. Bye.